going to drive up to Deep Gap, North Carolina, where we are going to leave the car and meet our shuttle who's going to shuttle us back to Dix Creek Gap. This will be a short section. It's so beautiful outside. It's December and it's a full moon. So that's exciting. It's right before um, winter solstice and Christmas. Um, and it looks like we're gonna have great weather. It's gonna be like low of 33. So we're gonna have a great time and I'm gonna bring you along. All right, see ya. Um, I am all packed up here in the car. I just wanted to mention that last trip um, we did, I had a very slow leak in my Nemo Tensor insulated sleeping pad. Um, I put it in a bathtub, tried to figure out where the leak was, could not find it. The company was great. They sent me a, a patch kit. Um, but I couldn't find, I could not figure out where the leak is coming from. So I am going to go ahead and return, try to um, send that back to the company to have that repaired. So I'm in discussion with them about that. Luckily, I had a second one. So that's the one I'm going to use today. But luckily, I had um, this foam pad, which I always bring with me. I use it to kneel on, to sit on during breaks, um, as well as to boost the R value of my sleeping situation. So I did have that, luckily. It just wasn't quite enough to to keep me from shivering in 40 degree temperatures. Um, but, you know, everybody has a different uh, tolerance level, so I'm excited to have a sleeping pad that is not gonna leak this time in addition to my foam pad here. So we're gonna see how that goes today. Dix Creek Gap and this section we are heading to Deep Gap. So our plan tonight is to hike 4.5 miles to Plum Orchard Shelter, the last shelter in Georgia. And then tomorrow we're gonna hike eight-ish something miles to Muskrat Creek Shelter. And then the next day we're gonna hike four miles into Deep Gap where we left our car. Oh. So how you feeling, Bill? I'm feeling cool. I'm realizing that we've done all this Woody Gap and we've done the yeah, we did all this stuff. <laughs> Let me see if I can. Blue Mountain. Yep, we're Blue about to Blue finish Gap. Georgia. Grave. We're almost out of Georgia. Yeah. We'll be done with Georgia tomorrow. Oh, yes. So come with us. I got my ears on. What time is it? It is 9.35. Okay, it's 9.35. We'll let Happy you know what time we get to Plum Orchard. To you. Until and we, we meet, meet again. again. We just yeah. met Zen oh. in the parking lot from Gooder Hostel, and um, I introduced myself as my trail name for the first time, Bravestone. I'm trying to trail name Bill the Legend. Bill the Legend? Bill, we'll have to talk about that when we get to camp tonight. gave us our shuttle driver. Thanks, Ron. Shout out to you. Keeping us warm and caring about us already. We got some great trail magic of hand warmers. So thank you, Ron. Bill's already, already gonna start using one. All right. We're about a mile or so in north of Dix Creek Gap, just plugging along. It's a beautiful day. It's December 20th, Monday, December.
December 20th, 2021. <clears throat> and it's just above freezing. It's probably 34, 35 degrees, somewhere around there, Fahrenheit. <clears throat> and we're just climbing, climbing our first mountain. We're going up there. And then we'll go down this mountain and climb up another one that's twice as big as this one at least. And uh, we'll camp four and a half miles north of Dick's Creek at Plum Orchard Shelter, the last shelter in Georgia. You know, I am constantly reminded how cool it is to just be able to like walk in the wilderness with everything you need to survive on your back. You know, just walk in with everything you need and all your food and um, it's a very freeing feeling. It's kind of cool. It's also um, pretty neat that if we just keep walking this way, we're gonna get to Maine. Mount Katahdin in Maine. And uh, hopefully we'll be there one day. We're just doing it one little section at a time, proving to all the people out there that you can indeed section hike the Appalachian Trail. <clears throat> so we're doing it. We're finishing Georgia tomorrow which is interesting because our very first section on the AT, where we did from Springer to Woody, was done in December, 2020. So that was a year ago. And here we are a year later, about to finish Georgia and our first 80 miles. So, we're excited you're coming along with us. We're having a, ooh, it smells like snow all of a sudden. Interesting. We're not supposed to have rain, but you never know. Oh, looks like we're coming up to a, a trail sign. Let's check it out. Looks like this is for camping and that there's water here down this trail, but trail keeps going this way. You need water, Bill? No. Me neither. I'm good. All right, let's keep going. See what else this day has in store. Okay, I was wrong. We hiked down the AT just maybe 30 feet. That is the water trail down there. We're going to keep going straight. Beautiful. Just beautiful. These are the kind of views you'll have in December. No leaves on the trees in Georgia. So pretty. All right, here's Bill. We just finished our, we climbed up and down our first mountain and uh, we're about to go up our second one. We are Bill. at some low Where point. Going to a high point <laughs> that goes to a low point. That, that then goes, goes to, to a, a high, high point. point. So we're on our way. We're on our way there. <laughs> All right. We got to climb again, turning off the camera. Bye. All right. Looks like we were at Cowart Gap just then, which is right down there. Now we're climbing up mountain number two.
the top of our second climb mountain, heading towards Bull Gap, which is that way. We have some more uphill to go. Um, according to my watch, we've done 3.14 miles and we have climbed 1,385 feet in a couple hours. So we're just gonna keep making our way up to the top of this and down to Bull Gap and up another climb and then then we'll be down to camp. Here comes Bill. We're just climbing, grinding up this mountain. I'll take you with us for a little bit. In terms of uh, tips for mountain climbing, I would just say get into your rhythm, find a, a pace that you can go at no matter how slow, but just keep walking it without stopping, whatever that pace is for you. You know, just step forward with your foot, push your pole forward with your arm if you're using your pole, just opposite foot, opposite pole, and just get into your rhythm and uh, turn your brain off and grind to the top. Um, I try to keep my head up a little bit because if you're looking down, straight down at your feet, which you may like to do, there's a lot of rocks and roots and stuff to watch out for, but it crushes your airway. It makes breathing really hard. So try to keep your head up a little bit to keep your airway open for breathing and, you know, hi. Um, just uh, find your rhythm, grind up the hill. We've got spectacular views today, beautiful. Just um, goes down there. Made it to the top of the climb out of Bull Gap. Such a beautiful view. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And then there's Bill. Then on this side, beautiful. We are one mile away from our shelter now. Um, let's see. We've done about 3.9 miles and we have climbed about 1,652 feet. I'm kind of glad we're only doing four and a half miles to the shelter today. So we'll see you there. One last view. Yes. Yes, we did it. How was it? Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah, rhododendron or mountain laurel or something. One of the two. If you know, comment below. This is definitely a green tunnel in the winter. All right, shout out to the Georgia Trail maintainers. Look at this. Thank you very much for cleaning this up for us. 
I'm clearing the path so that we can walk around all this. That's crazy. We appreciate all that you do for the trail. Thank you. Okay, we made it. We're at Plum Orchard Gap. Water is which way? That way. Ah, oh, okay. Water's across the trail water? here. Not right now. Mm -mm. And the shelter is down that way. Yep. So we're going to go check out the shelter, have, eat some lunch. Well, the blue blaze could be the shelter trail. Apparently, there has been an application of biodegradable pesticides, a soil application to treat the hemlocks, but we don't know when that happens. So, And I'm not sure what we're supposed to do or not do about that. So we're going to go. Check out the shelter, eat some lunch. Okay, we just climbed way down and we came to another sign that says shelter and water Climb this way. way, even though it looks like you keep going that way. Old, so just make sure you logging, go this way. It's, it's an old logging trail. Yeah, it looks like an old logging trail. It's quite a climb down here, FYI. All right, we'll show you when we get to the shelter finally. Yes, let's make tea. We made it. Tea We're here. We passed a beautiful pipe spring on the way in. So I'll show you that when we go filter water. We are here. And, uh, we're happy even though it was a short day. Let's see. This is it. Plum Orchard Shelter. Fire ring. Stuff to sit on, which is so nice. Looks like there's a bear box over there. Yeah. And covered picnic table and a nice two-level shelter. So we're gonna make some tea and make some lunch. Make ourselves at home. Bill's picking up firewood. So we're gonna try for a fire. And uh, we're hungry. So we'll talk to you later, bye. I'm making tea and getting ready to eat lunch. <clears throat> What's for lunch, Bill? Lunch is granola with superfood dumped into hot water. Granola with superfood. And what kind of tea are you having? I'm having a um, robust, a chai robust. Ooh, chai robust. I am making a peach, country peach tea. And I am having a salad <clears throat> for lunch. It is rehydrating right now. So I'm excited to eat that in just a few minutes. I am walking. Just so the shelter, Plum Orchard Shelter, it's right back there. It's hard to see through the trees, but it's there. Anyway, I am, Bill and I just walked down to the pipe spring to get water. So I thought I would walk you down, let you take a look at it. Here's this lovely little balance beam to cross over and the spring is something you walk right over as you're coming up to the shelter. So there it is. Great flow. The pipe works very well. And uh, it's a good source. Nice little rock to stand on there. Keeps you from getting your feet wet. Great flow as you can see. So, we just filled up our water, and now we're gonna filter it at camp. So, we're getting ready to have a fire, and out back behind the shelter, the privy is down there, and then um, really out back is the best, like, flattish spots that I found. Um, so I'm tenting back here, 
course I have all my hiking clothes out to dry. And here's home sweet home. Got my quilt coming to loft and um, my sleeping pad is all blown up. And then I'll keep this as a kneel pad outside my tent for now. And then before I go to bed, I'll slide that underneath my sleeping pad to raise the, the R factor. So the way I organize my tent is um, over here I have my little tripod to hold my phone so I can watch a movie if I want to or something on my phone. Um, I keep my bags with stuff I may need, such as toilet paper right there. I also keep warmer clothes over there, like right now my gloves are there and my balaclavas over there in case I need those in the night. Um, this is my charging station area here. Let's see. My charging station area. Um, so I have some things charging. Um, over here, I have my shoes in a bag and some extra shopping bags. And then I keep my empty pack over there in the corner, along with a bag full of any stuff sacks um, that I have emptied out. So, home sweet home for the night. I'm excited. Hi. I'm in my pajamas with my big puffy coat, my winter, my cold, cold OMG puffy coat, and I've got some uh, puffy pants on too, so I am nice and toasty. It's about, it's about freezing. It's um, 33 degrees Fahrenheit. Hopefully it won't drop below freezing. So I'm gonna go help him gather up some firewood. It's actually pretty nice out. It's um, like I said, it's just about freezing, maybe one degree above freezing. Um, so we're staying warm. We had some tea. We ate some lunch when we got here. We um, got to the shelter sign around 107, but the trail to get back to the shelter, it's longer than 0.1, just in case you needed to know. Um, it's not great, it's not super long, um, but it's definitely longer than 0.1. Um, and it, it will be one heck of a climb to get out of here tomorrow, and tomorrow's gonna be really a hard day. Um, it's pretty much eight miles of climbing. Um, so we are gonna, set an alarm for six, try to be out by eight, which is good for us. I'm sure a lot of you out there are able to do that, no problem, but that is um, definitely will be an improvement for us. The earliest we've ever gotten out of camp is 9.30, so getting out at eight will be great. Um, we're gonna try to make it to the Muskrat Creek shelter tomorrow um, before the sun goes down. So, I mean, we're gonna be night hiking either way, so we may be night hiking in the morning before the sun comes up with our headlamps on, or we'll be night hiking tomorrow night after the sun goes down to get into camp. Interestingly, as we were hiking today, at some point, something pressed my headlamp inside of my pack, because I didn't touch it, um, and my headlamp was on. Um, I don't know how long it was on, but I'm charging it now. So I'm charging that, I'm charging my watch, and um, yeah, it'll be fine. So far, no leaks in my air mattress. So that is in a fast improvement. And um, we are gathering, whoop, where, there we go. Gathering some firewood. Uh, and we're gonna build a little fire and just sit down and be cozy. All right, see you later, bye. Okay, so I mentioned Bill and I got water earlier. I have um, a three liter Cenoc bag and I have a Sawyer and I have a coupling here that I ordered separately. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to screw my Sawyer onto the bottom of my Cenoc and the water's gonna flow through this way. And I'm gonna take off the sports cap of my smart water bottle. And I'm going to screw the coupling onto the smart water bottle. So I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. All right, so I have my CNOC here. I have it um, 
screwed onto my Sawyer and my smart water bottle screwed into the coupling. And now all you have to do is squeeze the water through and filter it out. So that's what we're gonna do. Today is the day we're gonna finish Georgia. Bill and I are just packing up our stuff. We are having coffee, making breakfast. Oops, sorry, turn this off. We got up early this morning at six before the sun came up um, because today is gonna be a really tough day and it's just eight miles of climbing all day today um, and some pretty tough climbs. So. Um, we decided to get up at 6. We're going to try our darndest to be out of camp by 8 a.m., which is the earliest we have ever been out of camp. I'm super proud of us. We're pretty much on track. What time is it, Bill? It is 737. It's 7.37. Um, so yep, my oatmeal is rehydrating. Me that I only got 23 minutes left. Bill says we have 23 minutes left. All right, we're on the clock, so I will see you out on the trail. <laughs> but Plum Orchard um, Shelter was uh, fantastic. Bill and I had this whole camp to ourselves last night. It was really nice. Um, so we'll see how our day goes, and we will definitely check in with you when we finish Georgia and go into North Carolina, and we'll check in with you when we get to Muskrat Creek Shelter later today, hopefully before it gets dark. All right. See you on the trail, bye. Okay, good morning. It's 8.59. We just hiked out of the shelter back to the AT. Bill is back there, still hiking out. Um, okay, now we're gonna start heading north. So we intended to be out of here an hour ago, but we're still half an hour faster than our record, so. We're hitting the trail at nine. Bye. View from the top of Asnob. Just beautiful. We're climbing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very much recommend November, December hiking in Georgia. It's beautiful and not too cold yet. Typically in Georgia, it gets super cold January, February, March. November, December, still very tolerable. And by very tolerable, I mean 32, 33, you know, low 30s, freezing area. Um, sometimes it drops into the 20s. Anyway, all right, we finished our first climb. Only like nine more to go today. So I'll keep you posted. Bye. Okay, made it to Blue Ridge Gap. Bill just spent some time clearing some of the blowdown off the trail for other people. So now we're gonna cross over and head, head up. up those stairs. Let's keep going up.
the last mile of Georgia. Last mile. Yay. Georgia's been awesome. Great training ground for what's ahead. Physical challenge. Yes, it's there. Mental challenge. Also there. So. Is it doable? For sure. Just get out and start training is my best advice. Find some stairs to climb, both up and down. Stair climber at the gym, not good enough. It doesn't simulate the down climb. So make sure you get out and do some steps and lots of walking and cardio. And you can get out here and do it too. Just be prepared, take your time, go at your own pace, you know, hike your own hike. Bill and I have done shelter to shelter pretty much. We've visited almost, almost every shelter in Georgia. We passed a couple of them, but, um, you know, we've enjoyed it by doing it that way. I know for some people that's not their thing. They would rather tent more in stealth areas and that's great too. Um, or some people just want a hammock in some stealth areas. Whatever you're into, just get out here and do it because you'll never see views like this if you don't get out here. And it's so beautiful. It's a gorgeous day. Um, it's in the low 30s today, December 21st, winter solstice, so today is the shortest day of the year, so we're just trying to be cognizant of daylight and push as much as we can to try to make it to the shelter, but we are less than a mile from finishing Georgia so excited. All right. See you there. Okay. We're at the top of that climb. That was rough. The steepness of that climb reminded me of um, Kelly Knob. So, but I think that it will probably pale in comparison to the steepness of the three climbs that face us after lunch, after um, Bly Gap. So, we're pushing on to the border and stopping at Bly Gap for lunch. See you there. We've been doing a lot of this today, walking along the very edge of a mountain. And you can't really tell from the video, but that is a very steep drop off that goes down a very, very long way. I mean, that valley is crazy deep. Um, a lot of this today, and you can see the trail continues on the other side of this mountain. So, yeah. Okay, better turn this off so I can climb over that blowdown. Just for fun, it just started sleeting. Thank you, North Carolina. What a welcome wagon. We are at the border. We have officially finished Georgia. Congratulations, yes. Bill. Congratulations. <laughs> And that's the pipe, basically. That's the pipe there. That indicates that that's the exact same elevation 
as the plaque at Warby began. Springer Mountain, that's Springer what Mountain. that's what Ron, our shuttle driver, at, told us. The top of Springer Mountain. Okay. What are we at, about mile 90 or something? 80 something. 80 something. We finished Georgia, yay! I am proud of us both. We did we did some awesome hiking. We did, it's, it's some, been tough. It's been, it's been fun and there's been some really hard climbs. Yeah. It's been interesting, so. Anyway, we better maybe move on to lunch. Yeah. It's starting to sleet harder. Okay, bye. <laughs>